have some materials set out for a really cool project for you. This is going to be a geometric painting and I have had this canvas for a really long time hanging on the wall. It's a very large uh, 30 by 48 inch canvas, barely fits in the car. And the idea is to paint this geometric pattern that you see on the cover of this magazine. So that's going to be the project. I've got a straight edge to make some straight lines. I've got my uh, paints. I need to go find a pencil. Join me as we make this beautiful project. So what I'm going to do is measure this across and it's 30 inches across which means that at 15 that's our middle point. So I'll measure that down here as well. Okay, so now I'm going to draw down the middle with my straight edge. And the next thing we're going to want to do to get this design is to get some perfect squares. And I've decided to center it instead of doing it off kilter like this. So I'm using the magazine as a square. So I know the magazine is 9 inches on this side. So what I'm going to do is measure 9 inches to this side. So I'm close. I'm eyeballing it. But I'm going to go like that. And from there, that's going to be our first square. So let's see how that works out. Let's measure. So that's eight and a half inches. And yeah, about eight and a half inches. So that's pretty good. So what do we want to do next? my last couple of squares down here and I've been using this magazine the whole time as my uh, as my square so this distance is let's see, well it varies it's, it's imperfect let's let's what we're gonna go with two I was showing an example of the, rev the resemblance.
get a better approximation of the color because I was just using the turquoise straight out of the uh, pot. This is uh, phthalo turquoise or phthalo, I don't know. And so what I'm doing right now is mixing phthalo turquoise and phthalo blue deep and some white and I think I'm getting a close approximation. You can see because this is sort of this blue uh, that I'm trying to get actually or a shade of that blue. Um, so yeah, it's getting closer because I didn't like the unadulterated uh, turquoise. I need to go over the canvas, improve things. One thing I wanted to point out, it's really nice when you paint over the edge of the canvas because that makes it uh, very three-dimensional and then also it uh, means you don't have to frame it. It's its, its own frame and uh, I'm really happy with how it looks. You can see that one triangle or that one diamond still has the old color and I'm going over it with the new color and um, the lines in the bottom need to be thickened up a little bit more. It's all done, my painting is finished and I love it. I'm going to hang it up over the piano in my living room and um, might add a little bit more of the white um, once it's all dry just to touch up any areas of white that need it. I like that it's not a perfect reproduction of the uh, house and garden image but it's um, pretty good. I just mean perfect in the sense that it's not like machine perfect but rather has the imperfections in the squares and slight variations in size and color, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I hope you enjoyed this project and succeed in making your own, and I'd love to get other ideas if you have any on other types of paintings like this uh, you can make. Thanks, bye.